Won't start. date from that we've we've seen 16 that people now was that possible have been in real arrest. life the UK so police describing it as the most the Met police describing it as their most significant operation against organized crime and all because they got inside this <laughs> It all started here. In the early 2000s, the interception of telecommunications became a major industry for various defense companies. Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance comprised in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, the United Kingdom and the United States, as well as many private organizations, were buying tools that will allow the interception of mobile communications to obtain military, economic, and political information. However, to secure their own communications, the agencies started using cryptophones. These phones were invented to protect calls and messages from interceptions by using algorithms to encrypt signals. And if the calls were intercepted, nobody will understand anything, as everything is encrypted with a special algorithm. In 2014, a cryptophone known as Blackphone was launched. It was marketed for business users, stressing that it provided users with options that ensure confidentiality. The device runs a modified version of Android called Silent OS. In 2016, EncroChat phones were launched and they replaced black phones. EncroChat was a communications network and service provider that guaranteed privacy. It was meant for celebrities or business users that feared their calls could be intercepted. It was very popular, mostly in Europe, Middle East, and all around the world. Of course, criminals and organized crime also got attracted to the secure communication service as they needed it the most. Besides, EncroChat was not the first network of its kind. There were other market players, like the Canadian encrypted phone company called Phantom Secure, which offer privacy-focused BlackBerry phones. EncroChat devices were called Carbon Units. These devices were sold with pre-installed applications and secure OS. They were modified Android devices, like the BQ Aquaris, Samsung, or BlackBerry phones. So what exactly is a carbon unit? Carbon units are smartphones whose GPS, camera, and microphone have been removed or disabled intentionally. These devices run modified versions of Android OS. They run two operating systems side by side. If you wanted the device to look like any other device, it could be booted into a normal Android. If you wanted to use secure communications, you just switched over to the secure OS with secure applications. One important feature of the Carbon unit is a panic button where a certain pin will erase all data on the phone. Carbon units became more famous after this Edward Snowden interview. Operate independently. So it's true you can get into the phone and turn the camera off? Yeah, absolutely. Is there a way you can tell if your phone's been hacked? Perhaps the most terrifying thing is, if your phone had been hacked, you would never know. Because I'm going to be detaching the ribbon cables that are connecting the camera. As a surface mount device, you'll be able to just pull it off like that. So this is the camera. What's that? This is the other camera. You got two cameras in your phone. You got your front-facing camera for sort of the selfies. As the Snowden explains, every part of your phone should be there to serve you and not backwards. So how do you make your own carbon unit? 
The first step of creating a carbon unit is to disable or remove the camera unit. Because even though smartphone cameras are a great convenience, they are also a security risk. They can be activated remotely and used to spy on you. The second step is to disable or remove the GPS antenna that comes in by default and follows you everywhere. It also allows cyber criminals or government agencies to track your location remotely. The third step is to disable or remove the microphone. Yes, you may think that how am I going to talk without a microphone? You will have to use headphones with a microphone so that your microphone is only active when you are really calling and cannot be activated remotely. There are a lot of videos out there. You just need to Google Remove Camera Microphone GPS from a Smartphone Model or you can visit your local mobile phone repair shop and they can do it for you. If you can't make a carbon unit, you can buy one easily. The important part is to secure the communication. For secure communication, you can use encrypted SIM cards, also known as white SIM cards. An encrypted SIM card allows you to make and receive encrypted calls that cannot be intercepted or listened to during transit. Furthermore, your phone number is randomly generated or you can spoof anybody's phone number, thus hiding your identity and location. These SIM cards also offer real-time voice changing to protect you against audio analysis and identification. You can actually acquire one of these from black markets paying with cryptocurrencies. There are a lot of companies that offer secure phones along with encrypted SIM cards. Some of these are Omerta smartphones. They include Graphene OS and Google Pixel modified devices. They claim that no backdoors exist and that their encryption software is unbreakable, even to the FBI and the CIA. They offer carbon units made from Google Pixel phones. Their prices go from 500 to around 3,500 euros per phone, depending upon the phone model and customizations. The price of an encrypted SIM card is 1,300 euros for a six-month plan, and you can use it in any country. Cipher phone is another option which advertises secure mobile communications. Their phone security offers services like a camera privacy shutter or a hardware microphone kill switch. On the other hand, their software security offers features like a switch between operating systems, a panic button, a dynamic VPN that switches every 30 minutes, etc. Another one is the Pine Phone smartphone developed by computer manufacturer Pine64, intended for allowing the user to have full control over the device. It runs on Linux-based mobile operating systems. It allows an easy disassembly to make it a carbon unit. It includes six physical kill switches for the front and back camera, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, microphone, and cellular network. GSMK Cryptophone is another option for secure phones. 
It has a baseband firewall, a tamper-resistant hardware, and an end-to-end -end voice and message encryption. It can detect SS7 attacks, cell phone jammers, and has an emergency erase function. There is also the Boeing Black Smartphone, which is primarily meant for the U.S. defense and the military, but it is not very secure compared to other phones. If a crypto phone is out of your budget, you can use your own smartphone and use secure communication applications like Silent Phone. The Silent Circle company originally made the Black Phone, but now they only offer an app called the Silent Phone, which assures enterprise grade end to end secure voice, video, conference, calling, and messaging. Another of such applications is Signal, a cross platform encrypted messaging service. It supports encrypted voice and video calls. It is completely free and is available for Android and iPhones. And of course, these are not the only type of services there are. You can install a secure operating system like Graphene OS. Graphene OS is an Android-based, security-hardened, privacy-focused, free, and open-source mobile operating system. It was earlier known as Android Hardening and is compatible with Google Pixel smartphones. It doesn't have any of the Google apps so that the government can spy you through Google services. Even Edward Snowden himself said on Twitter, if I were configuring a smartphone today, I'll use Graphene OS as the base operating system. But going back to EncroChat, it was in 2018 when they became a popular company because of its security-oriented services. EncroChat rapidly expanded and had around 60,000 clients, so popular that even the drug cartels started using them. It was on June 13 of this year that EncroChat realized their platform had been penetrated by a malware. But this was no common malware. It was a sophisticated attack which could only mean it came from a government. They sent out a message to all their clients and users, urging them to destroy their handsets, but it was already too late for them. They were not wrong. Collaborations between the UK's National Crime Agency and agencies in France and the Netherlands were able to infiltrate them during the Operation Benetic. The malware that was used for this was installed in all the phones and was very well designed to conceal itself from detection, as well as to record the screen lock password and clone all application data. It was able to read messages written and stored on the device before they were encrypted and sent over the internet. It was revealed that 90% of their users were criminals, and the authorities got everything. Images of huge piles of narcotics, arms, money, and stash houses. Operation Benedict has resulted in the arrest of 746 criminals and the discovery of many torture houses that were used by organized crime. Today, the criminal world is in chaos. Their main way of communicating was torn apart. Some people could become very paranoid and think they are better offline, unsure of what devices or services can be trusted. Of course, other encrypted phone companies are trying to occupy the place of EncroChat. But for how long is there truly a way of going dark? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.